Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kent. This is quite sudden, but do you know what to do after you take a close off at home? I guess most of you know, put it in a laundry box and then do some laundry. Yeah, seems simple, right? But for some, like my younger brother, simple decisions of daily life are not so easy. So I'm gonna talk about people who struggle with the daily tasks and decisions necessary for home, school, work, and personal time because of intellectual disabilities. In general, people with intellectual disability fall within the four groups. From the ch children moderate to severe intellectual disabilities, most of them need to be cared for at home or institution, like care homes. But what about child with mind disorder? So what's it like? How much are they able to care for themselves? The truth is, despite their disability, these children have a potential to become more independent. However, they need a proper support from the family and friends and communities to reach that potential. That's why I believe every adult should learn about what support children with intellectual disabilities need. The first thing that child needs is life skill training. Why is it necessary? For most people, we can easily imitate our parents and learn how to do things. But Special needs children can't. They need effort and practice to pick these things up. In order to learn how to use the transportation, so my brother went on an outdoor activity. Also, he isn't good at calculating. So let's imagine there's a money printed on the paper. So you are asked how much you will get in change. You can do the math as you do on the paper. But in my case, it's not much effort. But my brother is not able to read the math and real money. So that's why he needs to go on the outdoor activity to use the money for real. Moving to the topic of taking care of yourself at home. So doing your housework is not pointed out by somebody. However, these types of children, if they are not taught, they won't know to do it. So therefore, teachers need to teach them what to do and when to do it by giving a concrete example. But the second thing that these children need is understanding that from the family and friends. A children with mild disorder may not have an obvious intellectual disabilities. So, they just seem a little bit different. So let me give you an example. My brother was late speaking compared to me. He isn't good at using his body. He, my brother was unstudying on his feet. So after he was diagnosed, my mother said, don't take it all on yourself. So you should find a place where you can discuss with the welfare officer. So we will get advice. So family need to treat them carefully. But by studying the how to support them, but not too much. Not treating them as so different from the others. I hope their friends can do so too. So uh, maybe there's many times we see the child having a tantrum, even with little methods. That's why it's important to be patient. I hope we treat that child as normal, but with more patience. So I hope the child with disabilities will not to be seen as a crazy guy. Disability is not sickness. How they need to 
get along with them forever. However, they are definitely getting a pressure and a prejudice. So I've been thinking if the child was a suitable and supportive school and has a receptive family around him, then that will be the link to the possibility of getting a job and living more comfortably. Thankfully, my brother achieved his desire. So when he looked for a job, he told us where he wanted to go and passed the interview. Additionally, he's going to a boxing class on his free time. I mean, if he hadn't been in the special class and had the people to support him, he wouldn't have been able to succeed. So I hope the child with disability finds lots of happiness and possibility from their surroundings. Thank you for listening. I hope these contents will stay with you.